Hello and welcome to the writing vlogs. So I've been writing a book for a little while now. This is an idea I had four years ago. So I wrote the opening chapters, then I went to university and had the best time and took a break. And then now that I've finished university, I've been sitting down to write it again. And I've been writing fully, like really, <laughs> like really in the zone and for a decent amount of time most days for about five weeks and the character has EDS and POTS and I thought you might like to hear a bit about it without hearing anything about it. <laughs> so as of right now I am on 45,000 words. Now that's quite a lot. <laughs> it is looking almost like a book. If it gets traditionally traditionally published, I don't know what you are and aren't allowed to say, so I really want to tell you the characters' ages, but I don't know if it's allowed. And recently I wrote the blurb to my book and I'm so happy to have that written because I've told a couple of people about this in my real life and the first thing they ask is what's the book about? And when I think of the book I'm like, Oh, it's all of these things that weave together. They're separate, but they weave together and they're all like, right? And, and they can't really make sense of it. But now, in my blurb, it all makes sense. And obviously it makes sense in the book because, because it's written to make sense. <laughs> I'm going to have to take a break and put my phone down because it's hurting my hand. But I'm going to come back and share more and also see if I can distract Tigger so that she doesn't be too loud for us. She's so cute, so maybe I'll just insert a clip of her instead. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is future Georgie, but I'm here to say that it's time to listen to some songs from my writing playlist. These are songs that won't give any spoilers, but they were a lot of fun to write to. So these are some of the songs that I've been listening to. you enjoyed that <laughs> see you for my next writing update so it's been slow progress the past week or so maybe two weeks but I'm getting there and I thought I would tell you about the middle chunk of my book because to me it felt quite remarkable what I achieved I was very surprised with myself so there's this thing called national writing month which happens in November it's a challenge where everybody across the world tries to write 50,000 words of their work in progress. So I thought I'm going to do National Writing Month in August and actually I'm going to start on the 18th so just on this random day and I'm going to do it by myself and there's actually going to be nothing national about it. Um, even the word count I thought there's no way I'm going to do 50,000. So I'm going to set myself the task of 30,000 and it worked because I just felt so in the spirit and so motivated by that target. And even though it was the wrong month and I started in the middle of the month and all of those things, none of it mattered because I genuinely felt like I was in the zone and I was so determined to meet that 30,000 word count that I actually did end up meeting it. 
and at the end I had written 34,000 words in 30 days and I would say about maybe three to four thousand words of that was based on things that I had written before but even despite that I had written 30,000 words in 30 days and I was just really pleased because that really helped me along and now being at 48,000 I can see the end. I wrote up a timeline at the halfway point just to keep me on track and so that I could see exactly where the book was going and so that's been really good. I feel like there's about five chapters left, four or five, I need to sit down and see but it's so strange because even though I know I'm close and realistically I'm guessing my book is only going to be about 55,000 words long. Even though there's only 7,000 words to go, it still feels like I've got a whole book yet to do. And when you sit down and there's just a blank page because you're on the first chapter again, you just think, here we go again. And I've got so many chapters in my book. There's going to be about 47, 48. And so I've sat down to a blank page and a blank chapter at this point, I think 43 times. <laughs> and it's getting, um, it's not getting easier. You know, when I sit down to that, I'm like, oh my gosh, here we go. Actually, it's getting harder because in the beginning, well, the beginning was tough. Then the 30,000 section was amazing and it just came out and wrote itself. And now since I got to about maybe 40,000 words it's been difficult again also I'm wondering if you've seen my music playlist section I think you would have seen at least one of those clips I hope you enjoyed it <laughs> it was so out of my comfort zone and not anything I'd normally do but this is the sort of vibe when you're writing and you're in your own world and you're like oh my gosh it's so good and sometimes you for me, I really do get into the songs that I'm listening to and they just, not the ones I've shared because I didn't want to do anything spoilery, but some of the songs I listen to really parallel the world that I'm writing about. And then there are others like the songs in this video where I'm just listening to it for fun. <laughs> this is a long clip, so I'll see you when we're hopefully class of 50. Bye. So I've just hit 50,000 words on my book and I was actually telling my dad what point I am in the book, not anything to do with the storyline. I was basically saying I've only got two chapters to go um, and then I looked at my word count and I'm on 50,085 words. So we are now club 50. I am a little short on that word count. 50,000 is a short book especially for a young adult book. If it was for slightly younger children, like maybe 12 or something, that would be a great size. So this is, at the moment, a short book, but that's where I am right now. See you in the next update. And just like that, I've written a book. I sat here and finished the last chapter of the first draft and it feels a bit crazy and it feels really cool that there on my laptop is a book, a complete book. I am actually going to write an epilogue, so I have that still to do. And then I have to edit the first draft, add in all the stuff I'm missing. And actually I thought I would tell you about that last chapter. I wrote the last chapter four years ago and it was the only part of the book I had written at the time. And then I took a three year break for university. And when I came to put it in the book, didn't fit anymore. So today I sat down with it again and I added all of the things that were missing and changed the bits that weren't right and now I feel confident that I've written a book and I still have an epilogue to go but that is a book. It has a last chapter. It has almost everything it needs. <laughs> it is a little bit short I have to say. As of right now it is 52,000 words and 500. Did I say that wrong? 52,500 words. There we go, that's better. So it is very short for a book and I don't know if it's too short. I'm hoping when I edit it I can find some more words and it will be a bit longer or maybe it's just a short book. I really don't know yet but 
in my eyes, as of right now, it's sort of done.